Welcome to the walking through tour on video of this lovely home at 58 William Street. As you can see, the home is empty, so it's ready to be moved in to right away. This is the living room and dining room area. The old narrow hardwood floors have been wonderfully finished off. Nice big old baseboard trim also finished up and the colors are quite nice as well. I'm standing here at the front entrance. As you can see there's a, a great finished wooden staircase heading up to the second floor where there are two bedrooms and a bathroom. As we come through the entrance way I'm standing in a foyer where there is a, a regular closet. Just through the entrance door into the main home we have the main floor uh, bedroom. This is a smaller bedroom, very well lit with two windows in it. The, again, finished off hardwood floors. Uh, this little bedroom has had a two-piece ensuite added into it, so this would be ideal for someone that uh, wants to stay on the main floor and not have to travel upstairs to the bathroom. As you can see, good windows, good light. The windows in this home have been upgraded, they're all thermal. Okay. You may hear a noise in the background, which is the uh, forced air furnace. It's natural gas. And this past, or a couple of years ago, uh, air conditioning was added to the system. As we walk through to the kitchen, as you can see, the entranceway to the back door and sunroom. Appliances are included with this home. The fridge, the microwave range hood, built-in dishwasher, refrigerator, and they've also left a standalone pantry. I love these cabinets. They're the ones that have the slam-proof doors, drawers to them, so you can't close them real fast. They're a wood product. They're well built, so it's a quality job that they have done here. The basement door off the kitchen. This basement is partially finished. As we get downstairs it's still the cement floor and freshly painted as the walls have been. As we look off to the right the space over here was used as an office space uh, for the folks that were living here. Some wainscoting on the wall. And as we were to look off to the left, there's just a space that could be used for any number of things over here. Off into the corner, we have the electrical room. As you can see, a newer breaker panel. Very neat and tidy, and this is also where the water shut off is. As we move to the back of this room, we go through into the utility room, which is the other half of the basement. Obviously, all the plumbing, we have the hot water tank, which is electric. There is the furnace, newer gas furnace. It's about four or five years old. And the laundry area has a tub and the washer and the dryer and some storage. Good size room, lots of room to store stuff. 
We go out through the other door, and we're back into the office space. And we'll head back upstairs to do the upper floor. So through the other door in the kitchen, it's off into the sunroom, which looks out over the back. Tiled floor. You'll notice the same ceiling treatment here as in the basement. And then a door to the outside, a couple of coat racks, and a nice big window looking into the backyard. You'll notice up in the backyard is a shed, which does have hydro in it. It's a combination of a 10 by 10 shed and a 9 by 12 shed that have been added together into one big space. People have seen this in the picture, wonder what it is, and it is an ironing board. A little old school, but cute just the same. Out of the kitchen, back into the dining room, living room area. through to this great old staircase. I love it. And upstairs. Directly ahead of us. Smaller but very modern bathroom. Tile floor. Full enclosed tub. Coming back out from there, this is the bedroom to the south of the house. Again, we have hardwood floors up here. There's the closet. Nicely finished off, great trim. See the wire in the corner for a television hookup. Access to the plumbing at the back of the tub. And then into what was used as the master bedroom. Again, newer thermal pane windows upstairs. Wonderful hardwood floors. Nicely painted. Behind the door we have the closet. And this closet is clad in cedar which is um, the perfect material to use in a closet. And that's it for the upstairs. Just back down the stairs again. And we can get a view of the front door. Be sure to head outside. 